Uh, I picked this up because I saw, like I saw another streamer who was doing Illuminari stuff, and it looks visually interesting. Like, look at these visuals. They're good. They're good. Just look at them. Uh, do that. Okay. Remember when your mother told you to eat all your veggies and you throw them out the window? Well, you should have listened. Now they're huge and mad and they want to eat you alive. Good thing you got a shotty. It's, it says sauce inside. Get a sauce shotgun. Sauce gun. A sauce gun. Okay. Uh, five man team. Musician, developer, and level designer. I have to question what the, what the role of the level designer was because this just looks like a circle. So I hope I'm wrong in that there's like something more interesting to the arena. But if that's not the case then my mind instantly goes to like like um the environment design but like level design it's a circle it is a perfect circle epic I'm I'm trying to work in a perfect circle reference and I only know the one song. I can't do it. What's your rush now? Every veggie will have its day to die. Uh developer and UI artist. UI Okay. Well, no, UI is probably fair. Um, I was going to say UI artist and then point out this one cursor and this one widget that tells you, I guess, what your ammo is. But no, UI is, UI is more than just this. It's also like the title screen menu and I'm assuming that billboard in the back plays a part, plays a part which is actually... Uh, kind of cool and the game does that. I, I have I have a vision of like imagining what they did with that. But I don't know for sure yet of course. Um, so this is all this is all presumption and not fair at all. Um, 3D artist and graphics programmer. Uh, the shader was all him. It is a good shader. And the designer. Okay. Play game. Let the game speak for itself. And then I will speak to the game. Um, I didn't download it. I don't think. And I imagine it should have... No, it's a WebGL game. It's an HTML5 game. There is no download. I mean, technically you could just download 
the or like download the page or something and then play it offline but you still have to play it in browser so whatever can I full screen this yeah this, this game is quiet Volume slider does nothing. The music toggle does nothing. Hmm. 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 Doesn't feel good. not feel very good hopefully that doesn't follow through <laughs> I got wazd R to reload Q to switch weapon left shift is run space is jump E to grab dead vegetable alright pretty basic pretty standard FPS controls pretty standard that's perfectly fine Oh, I need to turn this sensitivity down. I thought I had a shotgun. I feel like sensitivity is not going to do anything much like the volume slider. Oh, okay. So that's also how you get ammo. Oh. So I thought you had to like put enough of them on the same block for them to go out, but I guess it's just time. So what this means is this is this is the space you're running out of. Honestly, I'm not feeling the... Oh, okay. It's not timer-based, it is positional-based. Now it's more interesting. So it also means that it gets easier to get ammo when you have a whole bunch of enemies like this because they end up dying in the right spot and just giving you free ammo. That's a nice bug. Not really a bug, that's a collision thing in the background.
Also, it, the faces kind of have a um, Binding of Isaac vibe. Actually, I think that might just be on purpose with the the onion, the crying onion. I get it. Oh god, the sensitivity. Uh, so there's a slight issue with, um, picking things up, where it doesn't pick up what you're pointing at, it picks up what's closest to you. Also, the music just left. The music just disappeared. I don't know if anyone caught that. Too bad, it was a good track. This game is actually loud now that it's like the shotgun sounds loud. Uh, let me get the music track back. So... Hmm. It almost has the same issue that, um... Golden Age of Piracy had. Of, like, it, it stops being interesting very quickly because there's no new content it's like you have your machete which there's no reason to use because you uh, have a shotgun and can get ammo easily so I don't even know I don't know why it exists I don't know why you start with it instead of the shotgun the shotgun is not a very punchy sound which listen I understand Ludum Dare I'm going to repeat this a couple times. I understand 72 hours is not a lot. But just to be fair, you cover everything. Shotgun's not punchy. And you really need a punchy shotgun. Um... I don't think... I don't think it was ever made clear anywhere. Did they say it on the page? Yeah, it wasn't made clear anywhere that you have to s place three of the same kind next to each other, like within a, within a block of each other, in order for them to despawn and give you ammo. That's not mentioned anywhere. You can see it here in the footage, but you might not pick up on it because it's not told to you. It just happens. Um, and through playing the game, you might, you might pick it up as you're killing things. But otherwise, the only reason to pick up a vegetable is to like move them all, like shift them all to one area so that they're generally out of your way. Um, when it gets fun is after like the first couple waves when you get like a bunch of a bunch of guys like on this bottom one and that's when you wanna like actually like your movement's actually important. Like, 
you move a lot and you're jumping, not necessarily to like avoid headshots or anything, but like because you need to, you actually need to be jumping over dead enemies. So as far as bug problems go, the biggest issue is um, picking things up. It picks up the closest thing instead of the thing you're pointing at. Also the cursor, like the, uh, the aimer doesn't go very far out. Actually, no, I think it's based off the same, based off the same programming as picking up an item, or picking up an enemy. I think that's, I think that's what it's actually doing. When it gets really good is when you have like all this and killing enemies just uh, lines them up any anyway for you, and so you keep getting ammo just for just for killing them. And if you wanted to, you could get more strategic with like the way you're killing them, like. Killing a certain thing in a certain spot, or um, an easier way would be to just be like, try to target all the onions, and try to target all the green guys. And so then when you start dropping tomatoes, they all generally drop in the same spot and give you ammo. So like the easier way. But... Yeah, this one, this one will take long. So I like, I, I kind of like the sense of movement, movement it has when you actually start getting swarms of enemies because, so you're kiting around a bunch of enemies, you want to keep jumping because not only are you jumping over dead enemies, but you are potentially jumping over new enemies spawning in to avoid their attacks. And so like it you don't mm. so like with Overwatch or something they do you do a lot of jumping because you want to be a little bit sporadic and avoid to avoid headshots or whatever. In Doom, you want to move, you just want to move because you can move and you need to avoid damage anyway. And jumping is actually a really effective, actually ends up being uh, pretty effective for like moving about the terrain. Here they manage to do it very simply of like just avoiding obstacles. That's fair. Um... I never got the sense of like I'm actually running out of space because you can jump over dead bodies and even if there's a lot in a row I think you can still kind of jump and slide around them so they're not a major detriment but 
it does get to be more of a hassle as it goes on. Um, so the mechanic of lining enemies up to get ammo like this, I don't think works. And I mean this not just because not just because the like the way you pick up and drop enemies is weird, but like once you have you know ten guys on screen, you're not going to be concerned with picking up dead enemies to get more ammo unless you're absolutely out. You're going to be concerned with just shooting them all down and hopefully they'll line up for you to get more ammo. So, like you saw me not really using that mechanic at all, because it's not fun, it doesn't work, and you're too busy killing things anyway. So there's that problem. Um... It's it's just it's just kind of a design issue of like like even after I got over some of the some of the iffy things like the weird sensitivity even without the bugs of like the audio cutting out or um the weird, the odd programming of how picking up and dropping things works. Even after that, it's still like, sure you want to jump around a lot to avoid obstacles, that kind of feels interesting to have to um, add to like, get the player to add that bit of movement. You still have the issue of like, you have this whole mechanic that you really aren't having your player use at all because you're swamping them. There's no downtime. That's the issue. Like Um I mean I mean if you if you don't do that you don't move the enemies, then that mean that leaves you with trying to strategically kill enemies so that they line up for you, which is way more difficult than it really should be to get ammo until you get to like absolute swarms of enemies on top of like already dead enemies. And even though I mentioned that like you can just try to kill a certain group first and save the the last group save the last group to like try to get them all in one spot to line up that's still far more difficult in practice than it should be just to get some ammo and if you run out of ammo what do you do you just kind of kite the crowd you grab something and you like hope you can get into a group to drop it down and get ammo which like that means you're circling you try to move in to drop it and then you keep circling even if you get it off so that you can safely get in and get ammo to continue it's I guess it's just a weird like not a good loop not a good gameplay loop there I don't know. Game's alright. Graphics are good. Graphics are great. Graphics are well polished. Um, when when the actual um, music was playing, it was pretty good. I don't know how I feel about the sound effects, but the music fit pretty well. Um... 
think it. I guess it. So it it does set up as far as mood goes. Like mood in this case, I interpret as like how much how much does the game sell you on the idea of its world. So like. Um, so like, um, Golden Age of Piracy sells you on it extremely well because of not just the polished art style but and all that, but like the whole voice acting thing sells you on this whole piracy venture. It sells you on it. This game does a, does a good job with its own world of like a really good graphic style. Things are kind of consistent. There's, there's not, there's not much there. Like it's a barren wasteland with a barn, a billboard that I initially suspected was like the going to be the actual um, control menu. Like you start the game and it shows you the billboard, and then you're like, okay, I want to play the game now, and it zooms out. And puts you, and then like spawns you in the game in the fence, and you play from there. And it's like a, a whole cinematic angle, and that would have been cool. But maybe that was the intent, and it just left was left unused. Um. I don't know. They could have done. I guess they could have done more to to sell. Oh, uh, I forgot I had that set up. That host thing. That's actually kind of loud. What's up, Turbo? Uh, I'm I'm talking about the design of the bad games. Whole slew of them. Um. So I guess they could have done more to like fill the void space. Even if they just, even if it was just, um, even if all they did was just make it more green out there and like, like make a single, you know what, just, just make it green out there and have like a single grass model or like a single flower model and just flood the whole area with it. Maybe that's unreasonable if they had to like do it by hand, but I'm sure there's a tool that you could use to just flood the area with a certain density. Did I talk about how I ripped off Jack and Cassie? Not yet. I haven't talked about my game terribly much, because I, I don't have it, I don't hold it in exceptionally high regard. But that's most, that's most Ludum Dares. There's, I think there's only one, like, pretty decent game we've made in a Ludum Dare. Ludum, Ludum Dare. Ludum. Ludum. Whatever you want to call it. I'm pretty sure Ludum Dare was a joke pronunciation for it, and I just attached to it. But whatever. Uh... Mood's all right. Humor exists. Uh, the the crying onion is not a bad one, even though it's just binding of Isaac face. Like it's it's just binding of Isaac face, which I find amusing. Uh, the setup's alright. Setup exists. Uh, theme. The curse was Lords of Shadow 2. I believe it. What a curse that game is.
Oh, my webcam is just like not capturing. I had to restart stream because it OBS decided to stop capturing my monitor and I had to restart and then when I restarted it didn't capture my webcam and I didn't notice it until later and I didn't want to restart it again. So en enjoy no webcam. It's fine. Oh, uh Innovation, it's just an arena shooter. Shooter with like it's an arena shooter, but your enemies die and they take up a block, and it kind of doesn't matter that they take up a block because you can jump over them. Uh, you can pick up enemies and move them and place them in rows of three to grab to like make them spawn ammo, but you're not going to do that either because you're just too busy kiting around hordes of enemies to shoot them and hope that they drop in a row of three so you can get ammo. So like. What it does that's unique doesn't work. Or doesn't work very great. That's 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 where they that's where they lose it. They also lose it on theme. Even even though I, I say this and then I give them friggin' five stars and graphics and crap. Uh, I rate too highly. I'm a high rater. It's a detriment. It's an issue. Uh, how long does the fun last? Okay, so like once you hit after the first... Yeah, graphics and theme. Well, so what they what they mean by theme, or at least what I interpret by theme, is what I interpret by theme is um, what they have for like the the theme of the jam, which is running out of space. So like I just interpret it as how well does it follow that theme. If you're talking about like the world design or whatever, I consider that mood. But whatever. Uh, fun is. Fun kicks in when you hit the second wave, or like the second or third wave, where you actually get like hordes of enemies and it's hard to keep up, and then you suddenly have a pile of dead bodies in the. They just keep dying in the right position to give you more ammo. And it doesn't last very long at that point because the floor is littered with dead bodies and you can't move exceptionally well, even though you can jump over things. Is there a checkbox for big on the mood scale? There's just big mood. It doesn't have big mood though, not this game. Big mood was big mood was a previous game. Fun is there. It I don't know three three star game. Three star game. Lowest rated game so far of the night. Of course, to be fair, I started with the bangers started out with the top um, yeah so uh, that's gonna have to be all for the night I know turbo just got you